wanted to talk about adverse y'all. So adverse y'all is caused by the aileron and hence its name. It has a y'all component to it. So essentially it deals with when you turn the aircraft, for instance, this aileron will go down and then the other aileron will go up. So in that process, the down aileron has more drag uh, while it has lift too, but it has more drag. Uh, then the other side. So what does that mean? That translates to uh, an aircraft that will seem to go left before it goes right. So if you put this aileron down, you got the control wheel to the right. Well, you might see that little turn to the left and then it goes right. Now on the converse, if you want to make a left turn, this aileron will go up and it won't have quite the drag that the uh, right aileron does so therefore uh, it'll have that less drag and so they'll if, when you make that left turn you'll see the aircraft go to the right just a little and then back to the left and some aircraft is pronounced and others it's not can you name an aircraft that has a significant amount of adverse y'all due to its design well stay tuned and we'll answer that at the very end of the video all right, the question is, how do you overcome adverse y'all? And so the, how you do that is through the rudder input. You can't always rely on the design of the aircraft and the interconnect system between the ailerons and the rudder to save your bacon, so to speak. Where can adverse y'all get a pilot in trouble? Well, it's typically in the traffic pattern. You're down low and your slow speeds, if you do not use adequate rudder to counteract that adverse y'all, well, you can set up for a stall spin scenario. All right, the answer to that question we ask, what kind of aircraft has a lot of adverse y'all uh, due to the function of its design? Well, if you've ever flown a glider, you know all about adverse y'all. I know the first time I flew one, it was really a humbling experience. I had a glider instructor tell me, if you wanna turn the aircraft, well, do it with the feet first or rudder first and then put the aileron in. And that was just a, a great amount of help for flying sailplanes. Aircraft like this typically have an interconnect system, which helps you add a little bit of rudder if you neglect to do so.